Hello and welcome to this video tutorial with me Paul Hill. In this video I'm going to be using Adobe Illustrator along with Adobe Photoshop to show you how you can easily trace images and create your own digital drawings. Some of the tools within each of these software products can be quite complex so I've found that this is a great way to start familiarising yourself with them. Um, especially something like the pen tool which can be quite frustrating at first but the more you use it you will begin to appreciate it. So in this video I'm going to be using a Wacom Intuos 4 medium graphics tablet. Uh, for more information on graphics tablets then feel free to head over to my new website www.bestgraphicstablets.com where you can find out latest news and more in-depth reviews of the tablets themselves. Okay, so let's get started with this. Okay, so here we are inside Adobe Illustrator. Um, I'm just going to select the layer with Home Run and reduce the opacity to 50% just so that I can see what I'm doing um, a little bit more clearly. Now, starting with the pen tool, um, I'm just going to start tracing the outline of the head and starting to form the outline of the shape. Now, the pen tool can be quite tricky at first but my only advice is to keep persevering with it uh, because at the end of the day this is by far the best way to create a curve within Illustrator. Okay so if I just remove the base layer we can see that um, what's starting to take shape. So now I'm just going to select the bob blob, sorry, blob brush tool uh, which is basically a paintbrush within Illustrator which um, quite cleverly allows you to create paths um, with your brush strokes and it'll, you'll also notice that even if you don't create a perfect uh, line Illustrator will vectorize this um, and take out any of the imperfections and create a more smooth curve. So I'm just going to go over um, some of the other features on the drawing so and draw the ears and the uh, oh, yeah, just to undo that, Control Z will uh, undo that and try again. Uh, for the eye, I'm going to use the ellipse tool, and if you using the Shift and Alt key, you can drag a circle out from the center, which is quite an, eff um, an effective way of doing so. Uh, just increase the stroke um, to be consistent with the rest of the drawing, and then create two further circles, which will form the eyes. So with that done, uh, let's just take a quick look. Yep, so you can see it's starting to take shape behind. Let's just clear those out. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the blob brush tool and start freehand drawing the eyes. So I'm trying to show you um, quite a few different ways that you can actually create outlines. So we've used the pen tool so far. Uh, we've used the shape tool to create the ellipse and now I'm just going to go with the blob brush tool. Now I'm going to try and do this bit in a clean <laughs> single effort so just let's just see how this turns out. Okay, nice and slowly. Yeah, not, not too bad. Okay, and then as again you'll see it smooths it out and vectorizes it. And then just the top. Okay, so just carrying on with the rest of the outline. Ooh. Just undo that one. And the rest of the colour. So don't worry if you um, you haven't got a, a, a very steady hand. I mean, this, what I'm doing here is not perfect, but I'm just trying to, trying to speed things up for the sake of the video. Uh, but obviously on your, on your drawings, take as much time as needed. I'm just going to finish out the rest of the drawing and then just the finer details there. Okay, cool. So let's just remove the base layer. Okay, so I've what I've been doing just I've been drawing on top on the first layer, so you can basically just drag that down to layer two and there you go. All sorted. So what I'm going to do now, if we select all on layer 2 and copy that, we're just going to fire over to Photoshop 
and paste that into there as a smart object and there you can see the outline of Homer um, in a easily editable format within Photoshop so this is on a, a separate layer so basically the good thing with layers that we're going to do our uh, filling in or colouring in if you like on a separate layer now I'm just going to do this very very roughly just to overemphasize this um, obviously you'll take a lot more care on your drawings but you're not actually going to affect the outline you're only colouring in uh, behind it if you like so feel free to um, just roughly get your colouring in place and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, zoom in and start to brush away the colouring outside the lines so just take your brush tool and just start uh, removing the, the brush strokes outside the lines almost like you're uh, back at school and it's uh, it's time to start colouring in between the lines obviously reduce the size of the brush for the more intricate detailing and then just drag your way across the image and take away all the other unwanted colouring. So because we've got an outline which uh, which was seven point in Illustrator, it gives us quite a a lot of room for error on here. So just taking away that. and then hopefully you can start to see uh, this taking shape now so some, uh, a, a good tip if you're using the, the brush tool you can quite easily uh, hold down the alt key on windows and sample the colour in the in the nearby area and then just it's, a, it's, it's almost a quicker way of uh, changing between colours so just take away a little bit there and that last bit change that one again because we're, we're sampling it's uh, it's that easy to revert back to the colour that you're actually after and then just tidy up the last little bits and then almost done and there you have it Homer Simpson created in Illustrator and Photoshop sorted. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you learned something today. Goodbye.